Good morning. It's uh like five to five. I had a not bad sleep. Not awesome, but I never have an awesome sleep on these. I only had to get up to pee once, and that was at like three thirty, quarter to four in the morning. So that was nice. Usually I get up many times, like an old man. Um, I hate to say this, I think we're going to do another big day today. Another 13 miles to uh, Iron Horse, Horse Camp, Iron Creek, Horse Camp, Iron Horse, something. We'll see, it doesn't look like there's a lot of good spots to stop after Legion Lake, and Legion Lake is too close, it's only six miles away. So we'll see, but we're going to try to get started early uh, to avoid the heat. See you on trail. All right, 5.55 and we are on the way. Legion Lake, here we come. Cross it again. It's a very pretty creek. Ooh. I made it. I'm the toughest person to ever walk this path. This is not coming across at all like it is in my eyes, but the sun is like a burning orange, just ball. Super cool. So if you don't stay at the horse camp, uh, the primitive camp is, the sign says half a mile down that way we're going this way and I believe this is where the climb starts I've been warned that it's like uphill for like two miles or something yay Doesn't look like much, but that's straight up rocks. I think I will take a breather right here. I've been hiking for about an hour already. I'm tired. I know I'm whining and bitching a lot. And all these ups so far have been actually pretty gradual. But keep in mind, I'm from Manitoba. We don't have ups. Are very very little ups. I don't work out. I don't train. I never prepared for this. So it's tough. I'm gonna do it. But it's tough. So I'm gonna take five, and then climb that, and then probably take five at the top, and probably break in the middle.
temporary horse corral maybe? There'd be a road. No, I'm going that way. You're not allowed to, but if you absolutely had to, that would be a great spot to stealth camp. Right by the water, looks flat. It's lovely. All right, going here for lunch, which will be breakfast. Hoping to make it here for the night. Looks like there's another little climb, so I'm gonna prop myself up against this sign and take five, have a snack. Just getting to the top of this climb and I can smell bison so I hope they're not over the hill I hope it's just maybe <clears throat> old piles of shit from maybe yesterday and they've moved on we'll see Well, good news, right after that panoramic view that I just shot, that I tripped on, doesn't look like there's any bison, so, yay. The trail is a flowing creek right now. So that goes to Iron Creek. I think that's the official route. <clears throat> but this goes to Legion Lake campground and there's a restaurant there and it meets up with the, uh, the regular route so this is a little alternate if I want to camp I could but it's only like 8 30 in the morning so I'm not gonna but I am gonna go have some eat, eat. I guess some road walking for like a half mile to Legion Lake just kidding the road walks only a couple hundred yards and it goes back to trail This is lovely. They've got a some sort of pancake breakfast on. So we get pancake sausage, orange juice, syrup, and it's all just goodwill. So I'll just throw a couple bucks in the in the, in the box inside when I'm done. Drying out my wet socks and shoes over there. Seven miles to go, I guess. Mm, just left Legion Lake Lodge a few minutes ago. It's there for a good hour and a half. <clears throat> Got that sweet, free pancake breakfast. There's a junction here. Uh, and a nice Coke. Dried my shoes and socks out a bit. And now we're hiking again. And here's the junction of the alternate and the uh, regular Centennial Trail functions right there. 
It was worth stopping at the lodge though. And I think the distance is pretty much the same. trail once you come down <clears throat> from Legion Lake when you go up and then down is uh, very wet flowing streamy it's wet everywhere and I just got my shoes dried at Legion Lake and they're wet again so before Legion Lake and after Legion Lake it's been very wet I was just having a little rest here Regardless, we're gonna get one away. They are bighorn sheep, and they don't want to move. And I really don't want to be rammed by mama. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yes, you're very pretty. Be pretty up the hill. I'm taking another break. Because why not? <clears throat> it's only like 12.30, quarter to one. We've only got four and a half miles to go. So, um, here. Oh, that was a lovely little break again. It's like the second 15, 20 minute break I've had in an hour. Lovely, it's great. Uh, I ran into a group of ladies. Um, we were doing a out and back from Legion Lake to Iron Creek and back. Um, they said it uh, flattens out right around here, so it's easy sailing all the way to the horse camp. So I'm not too, too stressed. So I should make it there in a couple hours. It's only about four more miles. Um, doing some calculations. Unless I push big miles and camp randomly I need to do about 13 miles a day to uh, make it to Whispering Pines on at the end of day 5 otherwise I'm going to be a day short of food so have some soul searching to do I don't know if I'm going to be able to push them because it's getting into elevation so it's going to be not just long days but hard days and I don't know if I can do 13, 13 mile days with lots and lots of elevation. We'll see. Or you can hitchhike to a store. I know hitchhiking is a through hiker thing, never done it yet. Or I can text one of a few people to maybe drop me off a grocery order. My uh, turns out my socks I'm wearing smart wools and in gingy liners, both threadbare at the uh, ball of my foot toes. So have it. Oh, look at this. Not dead yet, guys. So I have another pair of socks. I've got a pair of darn tufts, but I'm definitely going to need another pair of toe liners and gingy toe liners so <sighs> we'll see just stop to add some more tape and that ripped come on guys <laughs> you need to hold out for like eight more days I've come up with a solution to my food dilemma. So, I'm camping, they let me, I hope they let me, at Iron Creek Horse Camp tonight, just like I camped at the horse camp uh, last night at French Creek. I don't see why they wouldn't let me. So, Mount Rushmore 
is only four miles past Iron Creek Horse Camp. So I could do the side trail to Mount Rushmore. I didn't want to do bonus miles. Oh, water strider. Oh, get out of here. Sorry, I'm just soaking my feet. They're on fire. Um, anyways, I can go to Mount Rushmore, get some resupply there. It'll be early in the morning, so I wonder if they've actually, ah, they have food. <clears throat> mm. Or maybe somebody at the horse camp would take pity on a poor hiker and feed me. And then if somebody fed me, I wouldn't have to eat tonight's supper. So then that would give me another meal for another night. I also didn't eat my lunch today because I had that uh, pancake breakfast. So I still have my wrap, my packet of tuna, and uh, my cheese, my baby bell cheese that I can save. Uh, I also have a cliff bar left that I haven't eaten yet today from today's rations. So I think those are my options. Or maybe my trail legs kick in and I can just do 13 miles a day, 13, 14 miles a day. Anyways, those are the solutions to the problem I have. <sighs> I believe this means we are leaving Custer State Park, which means no more bison. I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to embarrass myself trying to open this gate. So I believe we are now in the Black Elk Wilderness. <clears throat> Should just be a few more minutes till Iron Creek Horse Camp. Hopefully they let me stay there. The nice thing is, if they don't, you can disperse camping here. Just no disperse camping in Custer. So, let's see. Hopefully some horseback guy or horseback lady will cook me a big steak. That would be awesome. This is supper tonight. Sitting at Iron Creek Horse Camp. There's a bunch of horseback riding people. Mm. Apparently this place doesn't, isn't even officially open until uh, Memorial Day, which I think is next weekend, I think. So I just set up camp. There's not even a campground host here. Apparently he stays somewhere else, or she, or they. So I'm just set up over on this hill out of the way, and if anyone gives me shit, I'm just gonna beg for forgiveness. But pretty sure everybody else here, and there's a guy over there, he, he said he didn't pay. So I think these people are just in advantage of the closed park. Whatever, it's all good. So I'm just gonna eat. I'm starving. So I just finished eating, I gotta say. This Bushka's Kitchen Harvest, or Hardy Harvest. Really good. It's got wild boar, mushroom risotto, apple, green beans, cream. It's really good. And super fast, it only takes a few minutes to rehydrate. We've got 570 calories. So this place, well appreciated, because there's outhouses, not as nice as French Creek. I don't even think there's power. I don't think there's running water. Well, my glass gets there's running water so I don't have to filter, but there's a creek right there. So I need to go filter. But uh, it's gonna be home for the night because I am bush. My feet are screaming. So, yeah. It's gonna be bedtime soon. <laughs>